Welcome to the Spectra Layers Pro 7 Unmix Components Tutorial. In this session, I am going to deconstruct a drum loop into three different component parts. Let's listen to it first. The process is so simple, artificial intelligence in Spectra Layers Pro 7 does all the work for you. Select Layer, Unmix Components. This dialog presents you with opportunities for unmixing transients and reconstructing hidden noise. The reconstruction is based on interpolation code built into the artificial intelligence in Spectralayers Pro 7. Click OK to engage the process. Our drum loop has been split into three independent layers, tonal, transient and noise. Let's solo each layer and discover what the unmixed components process has accomplished for us. First of all, the tonal layer. The transient layer. And finally, the third layer, which is called the noise layer. Our drum loop has been divided up into three independent layers, but they can all be played back at once with zero digital audio artifacts. It sounds exactly the same as the original source material. Now that we've used the artificial intelligence in Spectra Layers Pro 7 to split this drum loop up into three component parts, we can process these parts independently in the Steinberg ecosystem. I'm going to work on the transient layer. Let's start by duplicating the layer. I'll rename the duplicate WaveLab. Spectra Layers Pro allows you to define up to three external audio editors. I've chosen WaveLab as one of mine, and now I'm going to move the transient layer content over to WaveLab for effects processing. The process is simple. Go to the Edit menu and select Edit in WaveLab Pro 10. WaveLab opens in the background, and here we are. The effects processing chain that I'm using has a very long reverb tail. Let's append some time to the end of our canvas in order to accommodate that tail. I'm going to add 10 seconds. Listen to the effects chain that I'm going to process my sound with. The most important thing about this signal path is that it's 100% wet. Keep this in mind, it's going to be important back in the Spectra Layers Pro 7 environment. Okay, let's process our selection and move it back into the Spectra Layers Pro 7 workspace. Select all and click the Render tab. Render the material. Quit WaveLab Pro 10. Execute, save, and quit. WaveLab will cache the file and keep it around for the amount of time that you have set in preferences. Spectra Layers Pro 7 now invites you to bring the WaveLab processed material into the spectral graph. Click Yes. As you can see here, the 10 seconds that we added in WaveLab now show up on the spectral graph here in Spectra Layers Pro 7. Here in the Layers panel, I can adjust the level of my new WaveLab generated effect. I've chosen minus 12 dB. Let's listen to it. Again, I would like to point out that these effects that we generated in WaveLab are 100% wet. I would also like to point out here that the gain structure of the original drum loop has remained unchanged. What this means for us is, of course, 100% artifact-free production. It's completely clean.
Thanks for watching this Unmixed Components tutorial. Check out other tutorials and learn all about the new artificial intelligence field processes in Spectralayers Pro 7. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectra Layers Pro 7 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.